Well, hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at a game called Strain Tactics. Uh, a tactical squad-based type first-person shooter. Um, and the kind folks at Touch Dimensions were nice enough to send me along a copy. I have played for a little bit. Well, 15 minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> well, I say a little bit. They go, no, no. It was exactly this long. And we're going to, uh, however, start again. Settings, you have the usual. Oops. Oh, I see. Okay. But uh, we're going to jump in here as a new enlistee and have a look at the tutorial section. No one knows what the strain is, where it came from. Some say it was an act of bioterrorism or rampulated... Oh, well, okay, obviously this stuff's going to move too quick. I'll let you guys read it. You have been activated. Well, you know they're digging the bottom of the barrel when... Alright, so you're going to run a little bit of credits here to start us off. It's sort of got some similar bits to it, but, you know, some parts are going to seem quite familiar to some people, and some things are just a little odd. It also uh, definitely smacks of being a mobile port. Son of a bat, is that you? Welcome back to the wall, kiddo. Were you just activated too? You look like you just came out of cryo. I still remember training you in this very room where you were freshly grown. That was literally a lifetime ago. Who would have thought we'd meet again under such circumstances? And you, a commander. That was some epic we got into on Neptune, eh? Neptune? I can barely remember yesterday. <laughs> I had to get in my info from the Historian Channel and Surviving Vets since I was killed at some point. Some decon team guy panicked, discharged a shotgun right in my face by accident. Can you believe they still haven't fixed their DNA yet? <laughs> Anyways, it is known today as the Neptune Incident. You and I were part of the first wave, where we found out the strain had wormed its way aboard an automated Starlifter transport that was headed to Earth. I recall you were leading Viper Company. You guys managed to board the vessel just as it was taking off. Eighty-seven ground teams fought and died that day to get you and your men on that ship. The combat logs then showed how you and your remaining men made it to the engine reactor after 36 hours of non-stop fighting. You sacrificed yourselves, blowing up the entire ship just as it entered Earth's atmosphere. The detonation was felt on Earth. That night, the entire sky above the southern hemisphere was raining fire. It was incredible. You should have seen the vid logs. The celebrations lasted till morning. They were going to revive us all and make us heroes. It wasn't until reports flooded in that the Straits of Neurasia had been overrun with unidentified life forms that we knew what had happened. Apparently, some hardier sections of the infested ship survived re-entry and landed all across the Pacific. Over the next two months, we used up the planet's nuclear arsenal and loaded neutron bombs. I never even knew we had. Boiling the oceans and grinding the coast to dust. And then they sent waves of the finest combat teams into the acidic depths. Brave souls that never came back. It's been a year since, and the strain is pushing back. I, I remember now. Pressing the... Do you mind, Dexter? I'm reading. <laughs> I remember now, pressing the button, going blind. The heat, the agony, the meowing cats, and then the hard vacuum of space. I even remember smiling, thinking, we saved mankind. I'll gladly do it all over again. Oh, except the meowing cats part. Ah, uh, just good to see you again. Anyway, broski, let's get down to business. It says here you're assigned to Heliborn Detachment 826. Wait, that's your helibase up there? Uh, we'll get to that after this next bit. Before you fly, we gotta get you commanding troops. You ready to meet your first squad member? When you ready, begin training. Okay. So, I would think the big finger wants us to click this. Rise and shine, baddie. We live to die another day. Last thing I remember was getting my face chewed on before it all turned dark. Wow, I'm really back. Pat self. 
notices you and salutes sharply. Look forward to serving under your commander. Whatever it takes to send those things to hell. Alright. Hold right mouse button to pan the camera. Scroll to zoom. Okay, that's just weird. Uh, Q and E rotates. Okay, this is see, <laughs> this is the sort of thing that makes you go mobile port much. All right, drag a path from your unit, or right click to instant path. Now, I noticed a lot of tubers that were playing this were doing that. It only works if you drag it. Well, I don't think it actually does. Uh, click. Oh, grab this guy and then right click. You see. Let's zoom out. Okay. Or you can do it this way. Right click or drag over and wait for the blue bar to fill up. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, automatically. Let's move to the next position. Also automatically switch to melee combat if a threat is close enough. Many units will naturally backpedal to keep a safe distance from target or threat. Also notice how their morale, the green bar, fills up when they destroy enemies. Morale management is crucial. Things can go very badly if your unit's mental health suffer. Alright, so on to the next space here. Click on threats to make them a priority or diamond. Diamonds can be seen through walls and units will attack a diamond that is further away than a non-diamond. Click again to remove the diamond status. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 okay. So, first thing, they want us in this box. So click on that one, I'll make him the diamond and they'll concentrate their fire. And here you can see them switching to melee. Not terribly effective. Just, come on. Ugh. No? Okay. Uh, destroy the gas tank to continue. I don't suppose you could get out of the way, could you? A fear gas grenade is now available on the table. What are you shooting at? Stop! Good God. The uh, controls aren't exactly that much fun, I'm afraid. Oh, come on. Yeah, it really doesn't help having all of these things in the way either. Oh, you can't move that, eh? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, tactical. Grenade. Deploy item. And... I guess right there. Boom. That didn't really seem to do much. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so they want us to now come forward to here. We can go back to here. Oh, good. We got infected. Push against the yellow crate. Open the inventory. Take the pill. Ugh. See. Okay, tactical. Consume. There we go. And now I guess we want to be in here. Okay. What a rush, eh? Ha ha. Drop a swamp items to make room for more. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, I definitely want this. Nope. Yeah, if you left click instead of right click, it takes it off your character. If you right click instead of left click, he moves instead of picks items up. It's, yeah, like I say, not terribly uh, intuitive. All right, I want to move this uh, down. There we go. And 
down again. Okay. Now we got a small, a medium. Ooh, nice. All right. Eh, whatever. Let's try that. Okay, so we have an info button up here. Ba 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 ba. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, five basic command training. Time to start building your own team. Your second squatty is my gift to you. Alright. Select Vine by pressing his portrait once. Zoom to him by pressing it again. Standing by. <laughs> oh, there's just so much of this. Alright, now. Basically, they're just saying if we connect these guys, we can then drag them um, like so, and they'll come with each other. There we go. Wow, that vine guy moves slowly. <laughs> I'm your pilot. Thank you, Captain. Feeling is mutual. Let's get started. All right, ground view. Ooh, that's cool. Gears either carried on us or in the locker. I don't really see lockers, to be honest with you. But okay, we've got. Oh, there's a decon area. Ah, locker is there. Okay. Follow the conduct heliborne operations against the strain using our ground assault team, providing close air support. How well armed is this? 12.5 millimeter miniguns, 35 millimeter auto cannon, variable spread firebomb. Switch over to ground view before continuing. Ground view. Okay, deploying the heli weapons. Ready for some fun? Press the heli weapons button. All right. Select the 12.5 millimeter minigun. Okay. All right. Okay, so B is going to fire, um, alright, there it is there, so, you need to actually do this. Okay. Um... Bend all. Oh, okay. There we go. Alrighty. Deactivate weapons to proceed. Alright. Heli blaze to pull a time mover ground to you. Press the dock button. Alright. Okay. Uh, markers correspond inside your heli base. Boarding point leads straight to the decon shower. Trust me, it's. Oh, I see. So if we come in through this boarding part, it'll take us through the decon shower. There's a boarding on the other side, but it doesn't. All right. So, decon area, cabin area. If we want to decon, we need to go here. So, let's send them there. All right, now docking. Move your ground team into markers to bring them on board. All right, to drop units, ensure there is at least a drop okay. Go. All right. 
All units accounted for. It's time to head to our new forward base. More great gear. Okay. Roger that, Captain Lou. Let's get out of here. Press the heli camera and go to the heli base interior. Find a lead mission site button. When you're ready to leave, press it. Okay. Let's go. Ah, there we go. All right. Ooh, completion bonus. Uh, sorry to interrupt your debrief, Commander. Switch to ground view. We've got problems. And debrief. All right. Sorry to interrupt. Switch to ground view. We've got problems. One of them came aboard. We lost Seer and Ishii. Why didn't you decon? I did, actually. Oh, this is a different group, eh? Hey? Okay. Alright. Yeah, Commander, I'm Major Lee. Terminate the infected on site. Terminate the strain, maintain aggression. Okay. Ooh. So if all the base personnel die, they will nuke this base from orbit. Okay, before you fly off, I need help with the body bags of the former. Okay. Alright. Revive body. Death is never the end. When your units are killed, you can get a unit under your command to pick up their bodies to place them in a cryo bag. Okay. Okay, but see, here's where everybody wanders off. And I don't really seem to have any control over any of them. See what I mean? Like, none of them. Uh, you can explore the base before we leave, but... <laughs> you. Why can't I uh, unboard these guys? What's in the locker? Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Main topic. Okay, what's this? Tell me something useful. Hit the weapon bay button at the bottom left. Okay. Weapon bay. Ooh. So I can buy these then? Enjoy the piece. Rearm, replenish. Okay, so how do... Do I have to buy it? Class stims, gun strike markers. Mm. Uh, that doesn't do anything for me. And there's no zoom out. There's no depart thing on here. Um, how do you reload these? That's just wonderful. Tactical? No? No? I don't know. It said just select the weapons bay. That does nothing. Oh, that just pauses. Yeah, I don't... There's something I haven't been able to figure out at all is how to do that. So, <laughs> no, he's obviously inside of that, and I can't get him out of it. Okay, I don't know how they expect us to uh, 
clear these up. Uh, there's no way to do it from there. There's nothing can be done there. Interior interface. Okay, that's the heli. Ground view. Dock. Fire weapons, yeah, but it doesn't tell you how to uh, get more goodies. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Numerous cryovats send on carry body bags with a cryovat. Yeah, but I can't. Only teammates. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright, I guess we need to go here. Hmm. And on to the next mission. But I think that's going to do it for our first look. Um, like I say, there are some things that are a little bit confusing, like they kept telling us, well, before you go, you should rearm your helicopter, and you should, uh, you know, pick up those body bags. Not really any explanation of how to do either, so maybe it's just sort of a, you know, something you can do in meetings beyond that. But that's something we'll find out the next time we have a look at it. So I do hope you guys enjoyed our first look, and, uh, yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting game. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, till next time, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, and ciao for now.